Okay, we have the file here for Maya binary, which is already produced by the software, the character generator will produce the Maya file, so you don't have to import um, as 3D Studio Max users who have to import the FBX file. So once you open the file, you will see your character. Once, you, uh, if, if for you to see the, the textures, which are there, you know, they're right here, you need to set up the project uh, to match the folder where you save your textures. And then once, once you do that, you're going to see the textures, okay? Um, let me show you what happens here. With Maya, you have um, a tool called Human IK that you can use to rig your character automatically. The free option of the character generator will produce um, uh, rigging for, um, you know, set up for the hands, the arms, and the and the waist, you know, and the neck. Uh, if you do want to have the premium subscription that for the time being uh, is a pay subscription, uh, you can have blend shapes produced for speech and facial animation done, which I think is an awesome tool to have. Uh, so for this exercise, you don't have to have uh, facial animation. You can use the the models, uh, the free models that I provide in the classroom that, to do the facial animation. Uh, for lip syncing and uh, facial expressions. For this exercise, for the final project, you have the option of doing facial animation if you want, but it's optional. Uh, you will be needing to do, however, uh, body animation, like either a fight, a dance, or some kind of movement sequence, like a walk, a run, or a person falls and then gets back up. Uh, things that show, you know, body movement with weight and uh, gravity. So from, let's, let's get started with reading the character with the automated tools. Let's go to the animation menu set over here. And on the Windows Animation Editors, let's go to Human IK, right here. And it's a beautiful tool that will pretty much read your character automatically. You don't have to worry about that. Let's go to the Definition tab. Because this is a... Uh, a um, character generated by Autodesk. It matches the, the joints perfectly, beautiful, so you don't have to set up anything. If you're using your own rig, uh, make sure that you, if and, and something um, yellow shows up, that means that there might be a problem and you need to reassign joints. Maybe you have extra joints that are not recognized or maybe your character has a tail or, or something extra. Uh, you might need to then rig your character here, but in this case, it's already set up, it's all green, so we're good to go. Uh, let's go to the source section and let's click on control rig. And that will set up the controllers automatically, you see? You have controllers for the hands, you have controllers for the waist and for the legs. Uh, let's see what happens, you know, with uh, really quick show you how to set the keys, which is fairly straightforward. Uh, that's the main control. You see the character stays in place. The feet stayed anchored where the default on biped in 3D Studio Max uh, is not. So we had to set up all those keys in 3D Max. So in Maya, you, you can just start setting keys. So let's go to frame zero over here, right here, or one and press S to set a key and remember 30 frames per second is the animation as we run it in 3D so on frame 30 I'm gonna make her go up and then on frame 60 uh, I'm gonna make her go a little bit maybe sideways towards uh, the right side maybe she's lifting a leg or something and set key and there it is she goes up and goes to the side. Beautiful. Um, the controls for the feet are kind of hiding here on my side, but um, there's somewhere here. You see the, you know, the, the little circle. Uh, you can, you know, in the same manner, set up the keys for the feet. Maybe she, you know, lifts off a leg. Uh, let's say that that's on frame 60. I'm going to press S to set the key. And then she lifts up her leg. And that is how it's done. You know, you can work on the arms the same way. You have the controls over here for the arm. And there's other controllers you can also explore to see if they work for your character as well. Okay? So have fun.